Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Preston. Yes, sir. We have some, uh, you've been ignored for a little while, so I kind of okay, felt bad ahead. you're sitting there and not answering any questions. Um, so we have some uh, local career and tech schools. Um, local job creators are saying we need some programs around 1,200 hours to 900 hours. Obviously, if they offer them, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, those programs won't be eligible for FIA grants. I think the uh, requirement's about 1,500 hours, 1,800 hours, and so forth. Um, is there any way you could maybe do an analysis if uh, those hours were, were dropped around 1,200 to 900 hours, give us an estimate of the cost um, to FIA if we, were, if we were to do that moving forward? Is that a possibility? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of the PA TIP program right now. Uh, okay. uh, for the two years, remember the state grant program allows for two year programs or more of study. So. Starting in 2012, we started what they call the PA TIP program, Targeted Industry Program. That allowed for grant money to be used, a special grant money to be used that was less than the two year and was for, you know, uh, be for, um, say, uh, 12 months or 18 months study. <clears throat> and it, it was targeted for um, what you would think uh, welding, like, uh, electrical. Um, any of the trade schools that offer academically approved programs, but yet they needed a little bit of help uh, because they weren't eligible for the grant program. Actually, we find in those particular uh, circumstances, like 87% of those that graduated with that money went out and got a job. Now, may, may, may or may not have been in exactly what they're doing, but that's probably uh, data reporting. But that's pretty good. Yeah, does, is the PA tip, are those dollars used every year? Are there any? Six, six million. At first, it took us a while to market it, but now they are used. Six million. Okay. Um, are most career and tech schools familiar with that program to tap into? I generally? would think so, um, because um, uh, we've had it for uh, this amount of time, and uh, we probably have uh, unmet need on this, too. How much would that be? Oh, 43 schools participating. I'm sure if they uh, wanted more money, they would, um, they could probably use it. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you, um, Mr. Davin. Um, the the obviously Pittsburgh made, I think the top three list for the Amazon location, if I'm not mistaken, or we don't no, know that yet. No, no. They, there's a there's a list of of 20 states in North America that made a short list and they're all equal as far as anybody's concerned right now. There's all kind of surveys and things like that and, and there's uh, speculation out there to where, where everything is. But it's really uh, 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 Pittsburgh and Philadelphia in the state of Pennsylvania right now. So we have those two. Um, currently, I think Pittsburgh had to release their, their package through a right to know request, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't heard anything about the Philadelphia's package. No, they haven't. And I, I can talk a little bit about that. Okay, so, go ahead. So Philadelphia um, submitted, I believe, to the to the press a a, a very redacted package of 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 of, uh, uh, the, the, of the package. Um, Pittsburgh choose not to do that uh, because of competitive reasons, and Pittsburgh choose to uh, look uh, continue to, I think, uh, file an appeal to um, uh, to the. Uh, uh, um, uh, Office of uh, Open Records. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as far as our state package, because we have a state package on top of the local packages, correct? We, we will. We will. Okay. Um, well, let me take that back. We will um, um, after discussions with Amazon, we think, but we, we don't know right now. Okay. So at this point, there's nothing in the budget projected um, for an Amazon package because no. we don't know what that is currently. No, we don't know. We don't know what it is currently. We have not had any discussions directly with Amazon. Again, as I mentioned, uh, the the proposals and the discussions right now, up to this point, have been between Amazon and the cities. We anticipate getting involved in those discussions uh, uh, at some point in time shortly. Okay, that is helpful, um, Mr. Alexiak. Good that enough. Was, that was close great. enough. Alexia. Secretary O, can we go with that? That works too. All right, thank you. Um, <clears throat> high occupation jobs. Um, L and I continue keeps a list about the, the generally the most important. Um, we had a select subcommittee, uh, actually Chairman Saylor's education chairman started that. One of the first hearings we had was with the department. Uh, based on that hearing, we were pulling a lot of data um, 
from um, U.S. Department of, of Labor. Mm -hmm. um, are, is that still the only source we're getting that information from, or are we picking up some, some local stuff to update that? Because I think one of the problems was it was a little outdated. So, okay, they're, uh, they're locally generated high occupation. All right, so we are getting local. Okay. Yes. Oh, my time's up, so thank you.